Assalamualaikum everyone, this is Janna Jahan Pruna from Tissau, Bangladesh. Today's topic is education in the COVID-19 pandemic. The widespread attack of the coronavirus has caused many important institutions like schools, colleges and other educational institutions of the like to be closed for an indefinite period around the world. The closure of educational institutions that started in the 17th of March in 2020 and carried well off in 2021 has caused a massive impact in the educational life of students starting from primary level up to university undergraduates. It has affected about 38 million students and about 1 million teachers. Even though the authorities were quick to take steps in conducting the educational matters, the damage created was heavy to overcome. The government started the process of virtual learning through TV-based programs in the first few months and then the schools, colleges and universities carried on the process of virtual learning through online classes and later on the schools, colleges and universities carried on the process of virtual learning through live classes on Facebook on their official pages, live classes on the apps like Zooms, Google Meet, where now that students and teachers could directly communicate with each other and solve various problems and issues through strategic methods. Besides, the, the recorded classes uploaded on YouTube has also been a great way of learning for the learners. While the concept of online learning has made the students and teachers around various places in Bangladesh active and skilled in the technical-based sectors, there have been a number of challenges while conducting issues in this regard. One of the main necessities of conducting anything online is the use of internet. Even though Bangladesh has advanced a lot in the years, the use of internet is relatively new, unfamiliar, and available in many areas in Bangladesh. Even if it is areas that be due to the lack of required device financial issues. As a result, these students are lagging behind. While some percentage of students in city areas are attending these online classes, a big number of students are sitting around at home without any means of continuing these online classes. What we have to do in this regard is come up with recreational and what we have to do, what we have to do in this regard is come up with recreational and strategic planning and methods so that no uh, no student in any nook or corner of the country is left behind. Of course, this is not possible through individual efforts, so this matter has to be taken with utmost importance in every level, side by side, emphasizing on maintaining safety in this crucial period of COVID-19. That's it for today. Thank you.